Hello everyone, Derek Floyd here, I came Multimedia. I've got some special guests for you today. It's going to be a great show here at D-Flow's Audio Toolbox. So excited about my guests today. Man, but as always, I want to let you know, first of all and foremost, thanks for coming to IK Multimedia, Deep Rose Audio Toolbox. We always have great special guests that are using our products in creative ways to keep themselves flowing in the industry and making things happen. Also, at the end of every program, we try to give you some free goodies, so make sure you stick around for that. We're going to be giving away Lursen Mastering today, which is an amazing program that's going to help your tools stay tight, keep everything rock and roll. Looks like picture right there. You see that coming in? So be staying around for that so we can get some really good stuff for your, your mixes as well. But uh, most importantly today, man, we're going to have some fun because I got a really good guest that I know you're really going to love. And I just know you're going to be like, wow, we should have had him on here a long time ago. This guy has been spinning on the tables for over a decade. I mean, way past a decade, to tell you the truth. He's a world-trotting world treading DJ, and he's been putting together mixes and, and doing things that we didn't even know were out there, changing the game, changing the culture, making people see things completely differently. He's been on every magazine cover. He's on Sirius XM. He's on Shady 45. He's not just a DJ. He even built his own worldwide company called Core DJs, and these guys are everywhere. He has put together this culture in a way that no one else ever has. I'm so excited to introduce my man, Mr. DJ Tony Neal. You there, brother? Yeah, I'm here, bro. I'm here. What's there going he is. On, there he What's is. What's up, on? fam? How you doing, What's man? Happening? What's up, D? What's going on with you? <laughs> man, I'm trying to get like you, man. Sit back there with records on the wall. I, I, I'm not there yet. Not there yet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just, uh, <laughs> just a little something. Let's just a little something, fam. Yeah. <laughs> Right, man, you, what's going on? you know it's been too long for ha us having you on this show. We should have been had you out here. So you know, uh, you, you know, know what timing? It's, it's it's all it's all good. Timing is timing, man. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, pr I, well, I, I don't want to say thanks to the pandemic, but we probably wouldn't have ever did this, even if it wasn't the pandemic. You know, you know and I'm hearing you know more and more of that. I'm hearing more of that statement from many creatives out there that are saying. The pandemic actually brought a lot of things around because we, right. know, we, we it kind of brought us together, get us more focused, right? Right. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like I've seen more of my people than I had before. Even though I see them virtually, I'm probably talking to more of my guys than I have in the past, right? Right. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I've been talking to people I hadn't seen. I, I've been talking to a lot of people I hadn't seen in a long time. You know, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Right. Yeah, and absolutely. I think I think it made us um, realize what was most important, man. You know, we're all right. out here trying to get it, but at the end of the day, it's family, man. It's, it's the time you spend. It's the creative TV you put out there. It's the I love get a lot you give of out. Inspirational uh, videos and, and conversations too. So I appreciate that, man. I I look into a, a, a watching. You know, I don't. I, I might not say a lot of stuff sometimes, but I, I see everything. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate. I, that. I appreciate you. I appreciate you putting some of that word out for people. Some people need it, man. And, more than what you think, you know what Appreciate I'm saying? Appreciate that, man. And and yeah. DJ Tony Neal's talking about my personal YouTube page, the Beautiful Now Projects. If you're looking for a Thanks. little motivational uh, content, you pop over there on YouTube and hit a sub. You'll get some good information there, right? Yep, absolutely. I absolutely. try to I try to keep it positive, man. We got enough darkness out here. We got to see something positive out there, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For so sure. anyway, man, we brought you on the show because. You were the originator of a lot of stuff we haven't even really been talking about yet. So I wanted to say, let me bring the man on to kind of tell the story. Because it's been a lot of, oh, I found this, or I did this, or I've been... And I said, we got to dispel all that. Let me bring the guy that really got this to us on the oh, yeah, map. Yeah, yeah. So right out the gate, man, let me tell them a little bit about you. Now, DJ Tony Neal, how long you been in the game, and how'd you get started? Uh, seriously? Probably seriously. I want to say... Industry-wise, maybe twenty years. Twenty uh, years. DJing, DJing, like, man, I've been tooling and messing around with DJing since I was fourteen, but I probably didn't get get really serious with it until I moved to Miami, and then you know it was back and forth from Milwaukee to Miami. You know what I'm saying? So now you're from Milwaukee, right? So you hailing? Yeah, yeah. You hailing the Bucks up in here? What? Yeah, I was born. I was born in Detroit, but okay. I, but. But but I was all my game, everything. I was a baby when I left Detroit. So I was from Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because so, you yeah, said Michigan. So, I was about to give you some static because I'm from Ohio. So we don't even like each other right now. Oh, uh, no, uh, no. What, what, what part of Ohio? What part of Ohio? I'm a what big Ohio, Ohio state. I'm, I'm from Ohio. Dayton, Ohio, brother. So I'm from Dayton. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My boy Scano is from Dayton. So that's yeah, that's cool. Up. That's cool. That's the real talk right there, kid. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> I, I, I get it. I, I get into that later. But yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> 
I get it to that later. But yeah, okay. So Milwaukee, and then you got to Miami, and you started off. So that was a good yeah, man. Yeah, I, I, I left. Uh, started trying to take my uh, career a little bit more serious. I left, came to Miami, and started well, in in '92, and I was an intern for Luke. Wow. You know, and uh, and and from there, you know, I was back and forth. My first opportunity doing the radio, I did radio in Milwaukee, and I went to Miami and started doing radio at, at 99 jams for a short period of time and i came i was back and forth a lot because my mother was sick okay and so i would go back and forth to miami and come back come home stay home for a couple months go back stay home for a couple months but um i had actually been back to cox cox radio okay. now which is 99 jams uh, a recent uh uh three times Wow. I have been back three times, you know, three. This is my fourth time. We can go back into that. I'll get into why. We'll go into that time. one later. <laughs> but yeah, so, so yeah, you know, with the core, I started the core 15 years ago. I started in November 2015. So, I mean, so, so hold on, pause, pause. You went from doing your own thing and then you started core DJs. Why did yeah, you start I, it? What, I, what was I wanted, the reason? I, wanted, I really wanted us to have a one-stop shop, man. I thought that DJs, we did a lot more than just DJing. We did a lot of things that made us. You know how some some people will say that to be a better man, you have to be in a better situation to be a better person to teach other people how to you know teach one each one teach one. So I, uh, me also being in the lodge, I took a lot of the stuff that I learned from being in the Masonic Order to um, in the core. I was like, well, if, you know, if we all had a one stop shop somebody does real estate over here somebody is a publicist over here but the the, the general focus is all of us all of us are djs then if we can put our all of our uh things together and that would help us have a better dj career for that and, and families so that's that was my way of thinking it's that's like everybody everybody bring their gifts to the table so we can all yeah eat. i didn't want to i didn't want to just be like a, a crew dj right. crew i wanted to be i want this big union of yes, a collaboration of djs that had other stuff going on that could help each other that's you a blessing man that's that's a blessing that's 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 you saying i'm not trying to eat just for me i'm trying to make sure everybody eat i'm trying to make sure man, we I, I, that's unit. i do it all the time you, you know, know it, uh you know it just Sometimes you have situations where people don't even know how to say thank you when you help them back. You know what I'm Oops. saying? Oops. Okay. Oops. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> it, it, it is what it is. You know, it, yes, sir. It, it happens. That's, that's the way it happens. So you know. Well, but see, you had to be a smart leader to put that together and say, okay, there's a reason to have one place where everybody can be a DJ. And as you started off saying, it's a DJ is more than just spinning the records. And you're gonna talk yeah. a little bit about it here because. I've talked about it before. DJs influence culture. They influence music. They influence fashion. There's so much that happens. As a DJ in the club, it's just you know, it's way of, more than just this pandemic. I mean, this pandemic, people got through it with DJ. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, uh, you really saw the importance and the need of a DJ during this whole COVID situation. You know, so it kind of kept people sane. You know what I'm saying? And, so. and when you became a DJ, did you did you always think? It's gonna be more than this. I, I see a, a larger vision. Did you always see? Nah, nah, days in your I did. Actually, I didn't. Uh, I was just trying to get out the street, man. Yes, sir. That's all. I was just trying. To, I, I was in the street <laughs> doing some crazy stuff. And I was just trying to get out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but my, my, you know, my family instinct. Like a lot of my family are involved in radio and stuff like that. I, I always fought it. I always fought it. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be like them. You, know, you know, in the streets. But then once I started getting into it and I started seeing how close. And how much my conversation meant to different people, I started taking it a little bit more serious. Man, so you know? so then you build this worldwide and worldwide DJ network, which is ridiculous. Yeah. You see yeah, how this crazy. thing exploded. Yeah. Did you did you realize it was going to influence culture and fashion the way it has everything that's come around it? Uh, I wanted it to. I didn't realize that I want. I wanted it to. I wanted it to inspire better djs inspire like we like we started the girls the models djing like a lot of stuff that we did within the core was the first of you know uh with the ciroc and the and the headphones and the, we we did all that at our at our conferences you know everything that we put our hands on it was something that wasn't probably wasn't recognized as us doing it first but it happened with us first you know that's crazy saying? man that's crazy yeah <laughs> that's a beautiful thing man i, I love it I love absolutely it. When did you begin as a DJ to experiment with technology? When did that come into your space? Probably Ustream. 
Okay. Probably just messing around on Ustream. Okay. Uh, 2009, 10, you know, trying to just go D- DJ on Ustream, actually just putting the phone by the speaker and just kind of <laughs> going like that. And I did that for years, you know? Yeah. Did, did yeah, you, I mean, did you get the, 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 the super turntables and all that stuff early on before they went from vinyl to turntables? How all that? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had the 1200s. Oh, yeah. I got, I got three pair of 1200s now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I got records, man. I got the wax. Still. I see records. Still. Oh, so yeah. So you, you go oh, yeah. to them. Oh, yeah. man. Oh. Yes. <laughs> not, oh, not records. Man. Yeah, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, I went through the whole phase, man. The CDJs the, from the records so using the CDJ. I even had a little standalone tape deck for records that I couldn't get. Oh, wow. And, and I had to push the button real quick in the mix. <laughs> <laughs> I even had a little standalone tape deck. So I. I came along in this whole technology thing, and I just watched uh, things in advance. I wanted to be, in, I wanted to be involved and in tune. You know? Right, because so I'm, I'm thinking to myself that if if I was the DJ company, I would have talked to y'all first. Okay, how should I? I make mean, this? a lot of a lot of them mean? did. A lot of them came through. A lot of them failed, but a lot of them did come through uh, our our avenue with our DJ conferences and a lot of stuff like that. We, I, I, you know, I try to encourage people to come to our conferences. You know. They go to the bigger ones, but they don't really get the grassroots. They come to the DJ and get the DJ's attention first, mm. hands on. Mm-hmm. And so I, I, I would try to encourage people to come to our conferences and all that stuff like that too. And um, yeah, fam. Um, I you know, always, a lot of them, I always wonder as a DJ, as a, as you going through both phases from vinyl to now this, you know, the CD, the CDJs and stuff that they use for technology. You, you know, dropping a needle. Was the way, man. That's when you really knew what you was doing. Now you can just sync the button, and they both sync together. I mean, nah, I don't, is, but I don't sync though. You don't sync. You nah, still, you still nah. drop, you still drop the needle for yeah, the yeah, BPM. Yeah, yeah, I listening. gotta use my ear, man. I don't, I don't sync. <laughs> you know, we, they can. I don't, I don't do it. You know, I, 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 I mix. You know what I'm saying? I'm a DJ, so I, I don't sync. You know what I'm saying? I but you, but a lot of that. DJs do, right? I mean, that's that's out there. A lot of the EDM DJs do. Okay, okay. A lot of the EDM. I don't, I don't. So a lot of DJ newer hip hop DJs, a lot of EDM DJs do that because a lot of them are producers too. Okay. So the sync, the syncing situation is an important is, a, is important, but for us as DJs to keep the authentic, authentic, you know, I think that we try to keep it as close. Most of the DJs I know, we try to keep it as close to the turntablism as possible. You know what I'm That's saying? That's what even I if we, even if we use another, you know, a brand, right. you know what I'm saying, right. or a controller, where we at least try to still keep our originality we're using turntables you know what i'm saying that's what i thought i was because I, I figured you'd be a purist you'd want to be as close to dropping that needle as possible oh, yeah man yeah I, I, if i can't touch the needle i still gotta be able to yeah scratch and yeah you gotta give us some love yeah. you know <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and, and I, I love to have a you know you got a real good dj when they move the crowd you know because they got to pay attention to what's happening what the floor is doing oh, oh absolutely you know? absolutely absolutely that's that's the whole point <laughs> You know, I like, <laughs> no matter what they're using, I, they got to move the crowd. That's the whole point. If the crowd ain't moving, you got to go, right? Nah, man, you got to figure out something, something else to do. You know what I'm saying? You got to figure out it's something else that you might want to work on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, so here, fast forward, you know, you, you got the, did you ever see this whole streaming thing come out the way it has now? Is that something you saw um, in the future? You know, I, I would always talk to my DJs on conference calls, man, and, and say, listen, the, the reason why I wanted to really, it was, I use, I, I had some simple reasons. I, for me, I just wanted to do it because my daughter was about to be 21 and I didn't want to be in the club. <laughs> okay, there you go. That there was it. Go. That was That's real. It. I was, let me figure out a way so that I could still reach the masses and do what I do, but not be old in the club DJ for <laughs> I, I mean I just that's what I wanted to do. That was my hope. That was me. You yeah, know that personally. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I started doing the streaming. And then, you know, I did it for a while. I went from I bounced from Ustream. I never did YouTube. I bounced from uh Ustream to Periscope. Periscope came out before before Twitter bought Periscope. I was on Periscope. And Periscope came out. Then Instagram and Facebook started going live. I switched to Facebook Live. Yep. Man. <laughs> and then and then Periscope, then Facebook offered more. And then you went back to Facebook. I was just bossing back and forth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh then once once Facebook started getting people issues with the uh with the uh 
copyright situation. Content, yeah, with yeah. That. And, and Instagram started doing that. I went yeah. back to Periscope and I, you know, cause they already got a situation where they, you know, doing stuff with labels and right, stuff. So right. I just stayed on Periscope. And right now I had the biggest R and B on the super broadcaster program on Periscope platform, period. Wow. Okay. Okay. And, Period. And you know what, what I'm saying? And one of your and one of your boys and, out and here. That was because and that was because of sound quality. See? Which we can get into. Okay, so one of your boys, Core DJ Sherman, said, ask Tony about the explosion with the slow jam mixtape creation. That's, that's what that's what it is. That, that's what he was talking about. That's so what he he just said to ask about it. So after the show after around I'm at 100, 140, but after the uh like the forty third show, uh it's an R and B show I do slow jams, all slow jams, seventies, eighties, nineties, early two. When is this show? Jams. I'm about to turn every this Monday, off. <laughs> every every Monday night at nine o'clock. Oh man, every man Monday you night just, at nine Eastern. You I'm just on, set I'm, me I'm, right. You just set me right. I listen. Uh, listen, <laughs> every Monday night, nine PM Eastern, man. You slow you, jam you got another fan right here, kid. I'm I appreciate it, man. It's crazy. It, it, it's big. I got. It should be a lot of the people that watch the slow jam yeah. watching us right now. Yes, so, sir. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, it, it, it turned. It was big, man. It was something that was needed. It was open. It was something refreshing. You know, as, as we know, music heals. Yes, and, sir. You know, especially slow jam. So come on, come I on. Just, you know, that's that's what I did, man. I, you know, I, I'll go from the temptations to silk oh <laughs> to, man from silk yeah. to, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? And everybody uh, like a good slow jam like man. I, I just go from you know different genres in the, from 70s to 2000s so that just that's what the show is about every monday on periscope that's what's up well see okay now 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 that you just set it up let's go fast forward to now which is okay you discovered the irig 2 joint like years ago before this whole COVID thing hit before everybody had to have something you were using irig 2 over four I years ago I wanted to know. Okay. So tell the story station, right now. Tell it. Station, tell it. Tell my it. Station, my station is Hot 105 here. I'm back. I'm, I'm there now. Okay. Well, uh, Phil, uh, Phil is my, he's program director. That's my brother, man. But we always bump heads on music. <laughs> and uh, we had a disagreement October 2016. Uh, in November 2016, I, 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 well, I left in October. And uh, 2016 November, I wanted to see how I can make my sound. I was kind of, I think I was trying to be. I think I was trying to be a little vindictive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted my sound to sound just like the radio, right? But through the phone, yeah. Because I was already doing the broadcast on the, on live. I said, how can I make mine sound crisp and like this stuff coming like if somebody played it in the car in the headphones? How? What can I go look? So I went to Guitar Center here um, in Miami in Hollandale. Mm -hmm. Seven seven Hollandale. Boop, boop. Yeah. Yep. And so I was looking and I seen I rig. I seen I rig section. And I said, I asked one of the things. I said, Can you pull up? This is your phone. I ain't even asked him what he said, yeah. <laughs> I said, okay. And I just grabbed it. <laughs> I brought it home. I saw the, the end where I could plug to my booth and my control. Now, the difference with a guitar, but I noticed it was for guitar, not yeah. for DJ. Right. So the difference was that you can't really turn the volume up real loud on the iRig when you use it on the DJ controller. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's damn near, I use the iRig pre. Right. So it's damn near off. Yeah. It's so low that it's, this volume is damn near off, but you control the, the volume from the mixer. Okay. From the booth. So I started using it and the game changed, man. I, <laughs> I started telling my DJs, I said, man, get the iRig, man. Get the I read, man. <laughs> Everybody's asking me, how your sound sounds so clean? How you get your... I said, I'm doing broadcasting on Facebook. Get the I read. I started the Slow Jam mixtape, man. And the, the following year, I started messing around with it. And I really I made it authentic July 17, 2017, the Slow Jam mixtape. And that was the that was the key, my I read. That music wow. coming through that, through that I read, man. I had special guests on. Everybody wanted to know how to sound. So we the were part of the so history of the slow jam. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. It was it was really based on the iRig. Like, so, so the iRig, a lot of the DJs got it. A lot of the DJs didn't. A lot of DJs were still in the club. They, they didn't, you know, they didn't really pay attention to it like that. Then here we go, they, February twenty twenty. Boom! Everybody got to have COVID. One. The COVID hit, you know, and uh, everybody wanted to keep that professionalism. Uh, how the sound should sound. I'm running around here preaching like I work for uh for IK, right? Work for the company. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, we, you should hey. get on this. 
get on this, man. It's only thirty nine ninety nine, man. Get it now. <laughs> get it, man. What you waiting on? Like y'all should have. I, I got the then I got the two and I got the big duo. I got that one. Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> I started trying to really experiment on different things right. that I wanted to do with this I rig. You know what I'm right. saying? So really, after the when the COVID hit and the DJs want the stuff to sound good, that's when everybody really started going out purchasing and, and the words started passing around. Man, you heard about this I rig? Right. And I was in there looking like <laughs> you like, man, I saw this years ago. What are you talking for real? about? You, you late. Know, like, for real? I told you about this. <laughs> rig, you know, I told you how to get the eye rig a long time ago. You don't want this. It just, it was just funny to me to see people not wanting. A couple DJs did it, but for the most part, it was it was funny for me to see people that not wanting their sound for such a low, slow price and not wanting their sound to sound like it was supposed to sound. Right. You know, broadcasting. You know wow. what I'm saying? So that's, that was really the history of it. Now we're here. You know what yeah. I mean? Well, you and you've been an IK fan all these years, and we didn't even know. So, so nah, we wrong. Man, I didn't, I, we wrong. We, <laughs> hey, hey, we, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I don't even know who made it. I just grabbed it. We, hey, we need. We need to send you a check. <laughs> I, 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 it would be dope. No, I, I'm gonna tell you something. What was crazy? What really kind of spread the word? One of my DJs in Detroit, her name is DJ Lixer. She made a video. Yes, sir. I told everybody. Yes, about I've the seen, I, I looked up her video. Yes. She made a video. She took it one step further and made a video to show everybody how to use it. Yep. Her video is right, too. It does a good job. Oh, yeah. She so did a good she job. Did. So, so out of, out of I, at least I, I, I would hope I'm glad, like, somebody listened. Like, she listened, and she took it, and I'm sure she was getting a bunch of questions on how to use it, too, and inspired her to do a YouTube video on it. And so I'll that's tell you when what I hit you. you. I tell you what you can do. You can get a hold of her for us because we want to reach out to her, hook her up with some goodies too, for sure. Because she 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 did an awesome you, video. I got you. I, I got some your, yeah. your information. Let me look well. out yeah. for her because she hooked us up. That video was right. So no man. I mean, she, was it fifty, sixty thousand? Yeah, yeah. I mean, she she got everybody right on there. So I'm like, <laughs> let me take care of her immediately. So definitely send her Absolutely. information after the, after the show for sure. The show. So yeah. So hey man, but yeah, uh, I'm glad that. Uh, my boy uh, got me in contact with you, so I can yes, sir. At least let everybody know what was going on with the with with the discovery of it for DJs because I, I you, you tell me like was it was it really made for that at first? Was no, really man, Irig Two was made for guitar, so it was designed right. for the impedance of the guitar. So it's got this really amplified sound coming through. That's why you can't turn it up super loud because it's already got this impedance going to make it loud as soon as it gets in there. So you're, when you put in your, your mixer, so to speak, you got to back off what you're bringing in there just so it comes yeah. in clean. But, I mean, Ivory 2 has been used for so many things now. It's, it's just a great quarter-inch input to go into whatever you have, iPhone, iPad, you know, <laughs> Right, whatever. right. It's just perfect but for yeah, that. that. That was it, man. So that, that was the story for, for, for us as far as DJ. It but then just me. you took it to the next level and got the, the Ivory Pro Duo. So you got the dual channel now. So you didn't went all the way I, out. Man, and, I got all of them, man. I and, got all of them. <laughs> I, I still use my pre. Yeah. The free is always the uh, my go to, you know what I'm saying? It's but right there, just I works. got I got the I mean the 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 the, the, the two sound the HD is crazy. We the didn't get you the crazy, stream like. yet, did we? We got to get you a stream because stream hey, is man, just the play. easiest thing. That's just RCA's right out your out your mixer right into your joint. See, that's super easy. Way whatever easy. you got to do, whatever you got to do, man. As long as we get the point across, oh, dude, <laughs> it's fine done, with me. Done. We got you. We got you. We got fine you. Fine with me. Fine, fine <laughs> with me. So knowing all this, man, I mean, everything you've done, did you realize the influence that you would have over culture and over, you know, the DJs under your under your blanket? Because when you say, hey, go get something, did you realize how much influence it would have to make people go out and move and do things like that? Man, I just, I, 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 didn't, I, I just want us to sound, I just want us to be on the same page. I just wanted all, all of us to sound good. All of us DJ different. All of us do different things. All of us have different backgrounds. But I just want all of us to just sound and be professional. That's all it was. I mean, because yeah. you you have a voice in this culture now, and when you say, "Hey, go check this out," thousands of people go check this out. So I mean, yeah, it was dope, pretty, man. You know. I mean, I, hey, I can't, I can't, I, I just take it, I just take it one day at a time, and just you know, if I see something that makes sense for us, I just kind of put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Well, that, like, that's well, the I, blessing. I gotta, it's so funny you said that because I got a brand of headphones now too that I own called Culture. That's what's you up. know, so See? so I, I just I just got that brand of headphones last week. Wow! Well, Crazy. you you heard it you heard it here first. Don't I can't get the brand of headphones called Culture. Yeah, Go yeah, check I'll, them out. Headphones, man. So you saying that that word culture, that word culture, that word culture, that that word stuck with me, and uh and you know the headphones and my boy, uh, one of my boys, Josh, 
he turned it over to me, gave it to me, gave me 100% of it, and we're just going to take it to the next That's level. That's it, man. Let me know so I can hype him up, let people check him out. You know? I'm with it. I'm with it. You I'm know? with it. We'll you definitely, know? maybe we should do a tie-in together or something like, you know, we get the headphones and, and an Ari Pro Duo or something, a DJ kit. Let's make it happen. Man, listen, I, listen, now you talk. Let's make it happen. Now you talk. That's, that's it, right? Let's there. make now it happen. Absolutely. I come to you first with it. I had a new one in August. I come to you with man. First. You better holler at me. I'm right in front. Absolutely. I'm the first person in line. You better holler at me. I got you. I got you. I got you. Absolutely. Oh man. So, so I, I, I want to thank you, man, for um, also, man, for uh, kind of you came in at a time and it, and and. The supply and demand was crazy, the company. So I just appreciate the company coming in and making sure our DJs, like I said, had the best sound quality. You know yes, what I'm sir. saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We that appreciate was, that. That was dope. Man. We appreciate that. that. And, we... and, I, and I'm not just talking about the core. I'm talking about DJs yeah. as a whole because, shit, for it to be sold out in back order, it had man. to be more than us get it. Back order, you know back saying? order, back order. And for, <laughs> and for all the DJs that are watching today, I know you guys are saying, what the hell are they? Where's iRig 2? Where's iRig Stream? Believe me, we are doing our best to catch up with the demand. It was a blessing, right. you know, it was a perfect storm, man. People will come out and you got to be able to, to stream out. All of a sudden, you need a product right now. We weren't ready, right. you know. No one was ready. No one knew COVID was going to hit. So, but we are catching up. We're getting product out the gate for you guys. So stay tuned. It is coming. It is coming. And uh, Irish Stream has been a huge hit. So everybody, the DJs that are buying that one out there, appreciate y'all standing by us. We're going to get this thing done for you for sure. Man, Irish Pre, Irish. First one, HD2, the Irish Duo. You went streaming. all the way down the line. <laughs> a lot. I, hey, listen, man. I've, I've been studying, man. I got it. And I've, I got three up, and I've been studying the rest. So man, I appreciate it, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So here, here's a good question, though, because we've talked about what these products can do and how you've changed the game with it. But now that DJs can actually stream from home or wherever they are, does that evolve the DJ game again because you don't have to hell be in the club? Yeah. How does that work? Oh, hell yeah. A lot of. I know a lot of DJs that's not going back to the club. Wow. That's strong. I, I know a lot of DJs that are actually influencing the club owners and different things to put screens up in the in the clubs and actually have a DJ just from anywhere book the DJ and just have them broadcast right from the iRig and from the club and having a whole set system set up. What? Oh, With yeah. the iRig too and that, just go with it huh? or whatever from the yeah, turntable. Have whatever whatever you broadcast on at the club, man. Whether it be a Zoom or YouTube, whatever they're using, and have that system in the club. Wow, wow, yeah, that would be yeah, that would be I, crazy. I, I mean, I, you you, you I, almost no, have that the, now no, though, because people the will... conversation. No, the conversations are happening right now. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, so I mean, but yeah. think about it. you would see these EDM DJs with these gigantic screens behind them. You might as well put me up there. And let me just go ahead and DJ from where I'm at, rather than there have me standing man. there. You know what I'm saying? There it is. What's the point? I, there, I'll, there I'm just is. standing in front of a big screen. Why don't I just be from the crib in front of the big screen? I mean, that, that's it, man. That's, I mean, it's 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 helped uh, it's helped clarity. It's helped in a lot of ways, man, that you wouldn't even believe. So, for Here's, me, go ahead. For I mean, for me, I'm I'm speaking for myself, man. It's helped my take my game to the next level. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, you know, if I was a young DJ now. And you in the old days you had to go out there and bring the box of records and hustle to the club and the, and, and the setup and the, now you can be at the crib, <laughs> open up your phone or whatever, and you can stream right there. You know that just all you gotta do have your all you gotta do is have your background, no disturbances in the background, have your background. Not even the disturbances in the background because they still can't hear it with the iRig plugged up. <laughs> so you can even have stuff going on in the background wow. of your normal house, but they're still all they hear is the music. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah. so, what do you say to those young DJs out there that say, "I want to get into this"? What what do you tell them? Man, I would say, get the stream, get the iRig, get the Pro, get the. <laughs> I would say that first. I would, you know, then uh, find out how you can connect it to your mixer, your controller, whatever you're using. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would I would tell them to perfect perfect the sound. I would tell them to go in, start a private stream, and listen to the sound yourself through some headphones. That's how I set mine. Wow. You know, and uh. I even set mine so cold, I taped it up so it won't move. Nah, there you go, nice. I don't want it to even move no more. Like, you know what maybe saying? we need, maybe we need to make a bracket that holds it to the turntable or something. That would be. Oh, cool. you make it, or no, not not just the bracket, but just something to click the yeah. sound 
not so it will roll, yeah. but just click, 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 click. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's set and stay still so you won't bump it because a lot of DJs will bump it in the sound of volume will come up. And, you know, <laughs> that's just an idea. You know what I'm saying? I, but I'm, I'm taking them all. I'm taking notes, man. Yeah, taking notes. That's that. Take so that notes. right there, man. And uh, I would tell them to invest in something that that small too, just like you would get your uh, get your laptop and your hard drive or whatever your computer together your mixer your controller your turntable i would tell them to now include something like an irig in your portfolio and oh, get your stuff man. together when you do live so i was i would say that i'm looking at all the all the responses man. There's a lot of folks up here talking and people were asking a lot of questions they did i did miss one but they were talking about a, compressors i think they said how do i differentiate between different compressors in terms of characteristics, is that something you would do on the fly when you're working on music? When you're no, spinning? no, 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 you, different records. Like different records have different sound. I would, I would just control it like I would normally control them in the club. Once okay. you set the I rig, once I set my I rig to a certain volume, mm -hmm. like what I told you, like you said, we don't have to even turn it up. Right. I, I just operate the different music by the board. Like okay. you know, some records are old and they sound different. You just control it like you would normally control it in the club. And you gotta gotta know your music before you spin it. You gotta know how absolutely. it's gonna be affected. You know, so. A lot of people just play records. They don't know. And and, you know, and, yeah. and that's what I was gonna say. What when you talk to a young DJ, I would tell them study music first. Study study your music, man. You, you study to. what you you're playing. Just, you can you can give I can give somebody my whole hard drive, but they wouldn't know what to play. Exactly. That's what I mean. Study the rhythm, study the music, yeah. study how people move with it. You gotta learn the music at first before you even yeah. get to a turntable, right? That's a fact. That's a, I, I would I would say so. I mean, I, I would say me. so. People like a lot of people learn the basics, but they uh, and they start DJing, but they really don't know the history of the music. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. That, I, I'm, I do that. I read Billboard books and I do all that kind of see, stuff. See, that's right? what I see. You 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 getting skills? You taking you taking yeah, all the way to the next I, level? I, I read all of that. You know, I read next level. those kind of books all the time. When I was young, when I was 10, 19 years old, I, I was I was the one that pulled the sleeves out the album. I wanted to know oh. who. Uh, Me too, dude. I used to read the liner notes. Yeah, yeah. Dude. I, I want to know who had the credits. I want to one day get my name on some credits. So yes, thank you, sir. credits. And yes, I, sir. And I did it. You know, and it happened. It happened. Like several credits. You know, thank this DJ Tony. Did, did, did. But I wanted to be that. Yes, sir. One day. Yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. And, uh, and that's what and that's what happened. Yeah. Well, man, it has been a blessing having you on the show, man. Like I said, long overdue. Everybody's been enjoying just just chatting with you, man. We'll have to when we bring out a new product, we we'll have to bring you back. We'll let you beta test that, baby, and bring it back let's, out. Let's you know? do it. Let's do it. And, I appreciate uh, it, man. We, you know, we'll talk when you get back down, man. I'm, oh, for sure. Yeah. And I just appreciate, appreciate you sharing it. the wisdom with the people that are out there, being the one that's experimenting and innovating. Uh, you know, I do want to bring back around to talk about core DJs. If you want to get involved or want to talk about or hear about core DJs, how do they find you? Oh man, just go to the site. Go to our Instagram, my Instagram, Core DJs Worldwide is the Instagram. Core DJs Worldwide. Uh, uh, it's over five hundred DJs in the core, man. Is it, face, is it Facebook as well? Is it is there is Facebook, there a... Facebook Core DJs Worldwide? Uh, the, the, the Twitter is official Core DJs, and yeah, and mine is uh, I am Tony Neal, DJ Tony Neal. So they everything. can reach out to you there. Is there a website? Everything. Okay. And the only yeah, hit, you the best thing, the quickest response is. In the Instagram, on okay. the Core DJs Worldwide Instagram, DM. Okay, so y'all hear it, man. Go Instagram, check him out. If you want to hear about Core DJs, be involved. If you want to be a part of the movement, go to the the, the uh, site you talked about so you can be there. And man, Absolutely. you know, Dr. Tony, he's been doing it for a long time. He's got the wisdom, so you better follow Appreciate what he's trying it. to tell you. You know, he, he tried Appreciate to tell us a long it, time ago, but he wasn't listening, but now we know, right? <laughs> oh, man, I, I, just, I just try to spread it, man. That's all. Yes, I sir. I appreciate it. Well, man, I'm, let me just get these people their freebie now because they didn't hung out and just listened to us. But now they also want to get this free product. We got we got to get it to you too, Tony. This is going to talk about Lursen Mastering Console, which is our the mastering program that you can put all your mixes through, Tony, and it'll give it that fatness coming out the gate. You can also put yeah. it on your iPad too, so you could do your mix from your iPad through this through this mastering console. It's it's wow. crazy. Wow! Talk about fattening up your sound. It's ridiculous. So, okay, well, we, so we'll get you hooked up on that for sure. And we want to make sure everyone to stay to the end. Let's say we got to give you guys an interesting way to win because they got to win it. Let's see if we can give them something they can win this thing with. Um, okay, I'm, I'm going to make it easy. Give me two iRig products that he mentioned that you can use for DJs. And he, you already oh, know wow. one of them. But don't say anything, Tony. Just give me two products he mentioned because he mentioned a bunch of them. He has a bunch of them. Give me two in the chat. And whoever gives me two, my team will pick somebody and they'll win Lurson Mastering for sure. All right, we got y'all. We got it, we got it, we got it. 
And Dr. Tony, man, appreciate you one more time, man. You've always been a blessing. <laughs> I appreciate it, family. Come okay. back, man. We'll talk right. to you soon. Yeah. All right, man. There it is.